A blast from the past will be back in the Capitals broadcast booth for game four. Ron Weber is the original voice of the Caps. He was there from day one calling the franchise his first 1936 games and Weber will join the current Caps broadcaster John Walton for the play by play of tonight's first period. It's going to be insane. Heather Prusak spoke with Weber about his life after the hockey. I don't know a luckier person on this earth. Ron Weber spent 23 years telling the stories of over 200 Washington Capitals. All the way from October 9th, 1974, Game 1, to April the 13th, 1997. How sweet it is! Washington 3, Montreal 1! Those are the sounds of his professional life, but his personal life? goes a little something like this. And by the way, just to let you know, I've been married to Mary Jane now 18,919 days. I was able, lucky enough, to, to get a job down in Salisbury, and the luckiest part about it was meeting Mary Jane. And uh, almost 60 years later, we're still very happily married, I'm proud to say. To think it all started because he took a job in broadcasting. Oh, yeah. My personal life has been enchanted since that time. And to this day, Weber still has the best of both worlds. He rarely misses a Capitals game. He takes the Metro from his house and still keeps score during the game. And outside of hockey, he spends time with Mary Jane and their three kids and now five grandkids. I don't know a, a luckier human being than me. If Washington defeats Vegas tonight, the Capitals' first ever Stanley Cup would be within their grasp. DC's last championship in any professional sport came in 2004 when soccer's DC United won their fourth MLS Cup. Okay, the Redskins last won the Super Bowl in 1991. The Wizards' only NBA title was all the way back in 1978 when they were known as the Bullets. And the Washington Nationals have never won a playoff series of any kind in their short history. We are so overdue. We are overdue. It okay. should be here.